President Mary McAleese and Charlie Hawhey have won it before, and this year it was the turn of Kilchamal man Louis Walsh. Yes, he's just walked away with the Male Person of the Year award, and as Lisa is, well, half male herself, she thought she'd do the honours. Take a look at this. balloons give it away a little bit it is the mayo men's association ball and here we are in city west to give louis walsh mayo man of the year well louis congratulations of mayo man of the year are you thrilled well i'm surprised because there's lots of other people that should have got it probably instead of me but my mother is more excited about than over. i am come over miss Walsh. What, are boring. you proud i'm very happy for it. Yes, yes. Does this mean a lot to you that your son has achieved this? Yeah, we're very proud of him. And he's a very good son. Oh, that's so nice coming from your mum. <laughs> well, what else is she going to say? You're not going to say anything else, especially to TV3. Do you kind of spread the word of being Irish and from Mayo? Because yes. I'm half Mayo as well. I know that. I know your father's in Castle Bar. That's right, your father's over I there. know that, yeah. And now, listen, I'm very, I'm very glad I'm Irish and I'm very glad I'm from Mayo. I couldn't be from a better place, you know? Do you go home? Did you go down no, the country? No, I don't. Yeah. I don't. I only go home a few times a year. But um, I phone my mother all the time. She'll tell you. Where's that going to go? Come on. Can't say your toilet now. I'm going to so. give it to my mother. You, where would you put it? Mantelpiece? Thing? I'd say the mantelpiece, yeah. <laughs> Beside Father Pio. Another big surprise on the night for Louis was all his famous friends and colleagues who turned up to lend their support. As far as I know, it's a surprise. But um, I don't know. I think I think he knows something's up. Yeah, so I, um, so I don't too. know if he knows who will exactly be here. But I'm proud mail man. Yeah, my mum is from um, the same town, Kilchima. <laughs> And that's how uh, the whole Westside connection started at the beginning. You know, they, they knew each other family-wise through uh, when they were from, you know, growing up or whatever. But um, oh, I was a very proud Mayo man. You know, you've won plenty of awards over the years. I mean, where would you put this award? Have you seen it? It's about this size. If I got an award for like Yorkshireman of the Year or something, what would you do with it? I, well, I I would probably hang it in my lounge because you know, getting best man, you kind of take them for granted. But when it comes to hometown or home county, I think it takes you back to your childhood and you start thinking it's okay lovely. this it's is, kind of this is good yeah. yeah this is good well they're all turning out in their fourth here mikey hello it's great to see you again <laughs> i do too now tonight you know louis wins the award mayo yeah. man of the year yeah. you've dealt with him many times is he yeah. proud of being mayo man oh he certainly is yeah i mean he's, he's always been very proud of his uh kill to mock moots you know <laughs> yeah. um and there's been many times well especially in the early years of boy zone um when we'd be passing through mayo and we'd always be a little stopping deep. over <laughs> His house there oh, and drop really? it. Oh yeah, and drop in for a cup of tea and. Oh, that's so sweet. Because his mum's people. inside, you know, and yeah. she's so proud, big smile oh, in her yeah. face. Why, why wouldn't she be? You know, his her, her, her baby boy has achieved an awful lot in his time so far. You know, he absolutely has. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So. There's Mr. Keith Duffy walking in. Well, everyone made it except one, but he had this to say. I'm actually speechless here. Uh, obvious questions. Why? Uh, who else was nominated? I'm actually happy for you, Louis, because you've never actually won anything before. Um, you once told me that, that you'd never won anything at school. After school, you didn't win anything. Uh, most of your adult life, you actually haven't won anything, even been nominated for anything. So the fact that you've actually won something at the age of 61 is, it's incredible. Howdy. 